All right, thoughts after a sort of a impressive, I guess, workmanlike and a, an important win for your team? Um, yeah, I think overall all aspects of the game came together pretty well. Pitching, uh, Boyd had a little trouble throwing strikes, but it was able to get six innings out of him. Uh, and uh, really the bullpen did his job. Greeny gave up that run, but he, not too concerned about it. A lot of ground balls that found holes, nothing that was hit real hard. And then Rondon was able to finish it off, despite having the first two guys get on base. Offensively, I thought we did a nice job. I thought we, we hit some balls hard. Even some balls that were outs were, were hit hard. A couple balls caught in center field right at the wall. Um, you know, we had some big hits up and down. Miggy had a good day. Upton had some big hits. So, uh, Romine's uh, yeah. RBI single, two RBI single was big. What was your level of concern about Matt Boyd in the first inning? 28 pitches, and it just seemed like he was sort of uh, sort of grasping uh, at straws there to, to, to get some outs and find the strikes. No, you're right. And then I was a little bit worried about it because if, if you have to take him out early, you end up using your entire bullpen, and then you got a 12 10 game tomorrow. Um, but he was able to muscle through, get through that first inning, settle down a little bit, still struggle at times. Repeating his, de his delivery, his, his release point. Um, and as you described, it was kind of a workmanlike effort, but he was able to get through six. He's got a nice array of pitches when he's on, and we saw that probably after the first inning before, uh, before you took him out in the, after the six. Yeah, he was probably sharper late. I thought his, uh, when his, his slider is down and near the strike zone, it's very difficult for, pit, for hitters to pick up. It looks like the fastball coming in, then it has some movement to it. Uh, and I've always thought his changeup is good. He elevates it sometimes, but it's so much slower than his fastball, he, he can get away with it. What different a player is Justin Upton right now for your team? Well, it lengthens the lineup, and he's got power, as you saw tonight. Um, he can hit the ball as far as anyone in the lineup. So, uh, you know, it's, it's good to see him swing the bat. We, we want to keep him rolling. Miguel Cabrera's 44th four-hit game. How, how astounding is that to you for as long as you played the game of baseball? Well, I mean, it doesn't surprise me that he's had 44. We've probably combined for 50. <laughs> um, but the offense sort of uh, sort of slowed down uh, rather dramatically, and you mentioned uh, the Romine hit. Those are big. The add-on runs, particularly in a game like this and against a Twins team that's just playing for next year and playing free and easy, I would think, are, are crucial. No question Romine's was a, was a – those two runs were enormous at the time. I'll give you a little breathing room. Um, and the Twins are dangerous because they're, they're, they're a good offensive club. Uh, you know, they didn't, they didn't score a bunch of runs tonight, but they have the ability to score runs and score runs quickly. You're five and a half back of Cleveland now. I'm not sure you're aware of that uh, reaction to it. We've got a game against the Twins tomorrow. Brad, thanks. Thanks. <laughs>